Hello and welcome to the Best Tech News Week 9 Part 2. Uh, yes, you may have seen my Part 1 video yesterday. If you haven't, you can just click there and uh, you can watch it. So, uh, you know, I will just start where I uh, ended yesterday. And uh, of course, we have this other news iPad 3 news kind of you know and this is some big news for some people for me yeah of course it's nice with technology going forward but I I won't buy an iPad anyway so I don't really care about the iPad for myself but of course it's nice to see the specs and you know see the uh, future specs uh, always nice to see that and uh, this iPad 3 is now you know official that it will be launched on March the 7th on this Apple event um, Gizmodo, Gizmodo was actually invited to that event so they were you know telling us that they will release this iPad 3 on uh, the March of 7th and that is just a few days from now just a few days then you will see your iPad 3 and that is nice if you have uh, been starting to get tired of your iPad 1 or iPad 2 you can just get uh, iPad 3 and you know give Apple some more cash and uh, yeah that's pretty much all for that and we also saw that uh, Nokia is going to launch this uh, 808 PureView cell phone smartphone with Symbian uh, they actually launched it on the Mobile World Congress this week in Barcelona and <laughs> the, the, the really interesting stuff with the smartphone is the camera it's a 41 megapixel camera and <laughs> that is just sickness but I know that you may think right now that 41 megapixel will yeah the picture will be very very big and you know the file size will be over 20 megabytes and stuff like that but the thing is that Nokia made this really nice I mean the sensor is 41 megapixel but uh, the smartphone actually makes this photo 5 megapixel after it's done and it doesn't lose any quality that's freaking insane uh, it actually just decompresses the the picture like it would uh, change uh, some kind of you know maybe for web and devices or uh, you know I'm not an expert of that but I can tell you that this is some really nice technology because if you make a 41 megapixel shot 5 megapixel shot and without you know losing any quality that is just insane insane good uh, they actually showed us in this hands-on video with pocket now that <laughs> uh, that um, you can zoom in with it on this picture the 5 megapixel picture and uh, it won't lose any quality even though you zoom in on this just 5 megapixel shot I mean I can take 8 megapixel shots with my Samsung Galaxy Note or you can take a shot with your Samsung Galaxy S2 or any other 8 megapixel camera for that matter and it will lose quality if you zoom in so that's what I'm saying I mean Nokia have made really nice job with this um, 41 megapixel camera that makes it 5 megapixel just incredible and it, I, I, I'm guessing that the 5 megapixel shot will take maybe 2 megabytes something like that in uh, full resolution and you know this awesome quality 41 megapixel quality sickness 
And yes, we have some other news too, and this is one of my favorites. The Samsung have now launched its first projector smartphone called the Galaxy Beam. <coughs> and um, this Galaxy Beam is so incredible that uh, you can have this smartphone like 15 to 2 meter, I mean 15 inches to 2 meters away from the target and you can show your friends or yourself uh, videos, pictures, Facebook statuses, everything. Uh, you can actually show the whole screen on wherever you want and uh, of course this is not like ultimate for watching movies and stuff but uh, it's pretty nice if you want to show your you know friends in school or something like that uh, and some you know nice uh, statuses or something like funny pictures on Facebook or on the internet uh, on the wall like maybe one meter away or maybe even more of course it won't have that good resolution and uh, quality but of course you will see what it is and uh, you will be able to laugh if it's a um, um, uh, funny picture and uh, this little thing here is actually kinda like a budget phone besides the projector um, it is a dual core with uh, not too good battery. It's a uh, 2000 milliampere hour battery. Uh, and if you use the projector, it will last like three hours. And that's not too good, but of course, it will last longer if you don't use the projector. But if you're not going to use the projector, there's no point of buying this phone because that's the thing with this phone because this phone is pretty expensive for you know having those specs so if you're absolutely not going to use the projector much I'm not advising you to buy this phone because it will cost like 900 bucks yes you heard me 900 bucks and that is just sick and uh, it's also going to come out with ice cream sandwich later on when samsung have uh, developed their sa ice cream sandwich for the this phone and uh, yeah that's pretty much all for that news and we also have this HTC Sense 4.0 uh, HTC have been working on this Sense 4 uh, from probably a year maybe and what I like with this Sense 4 is that it looks kind of like the Galaxy Nexus ice cream sandwich ROM which is stock ROM you know the, there's no any launchers on the top of the the ice cream sandwich there's no touch with uh, and stuff like that so that's what I'm liking with this HTC Sense 4 and they got some stuff from uh, HTC Sense 3 like uh, some widgets and stuff like that and that is pretty awesome because that looks good and um, yes you should really get this HTC Sense 4 it will probably available for download to any HTC phone pretty soon and I'm guessing that the One X and One S is going to come with this HTC Sense 4. So yeah. And uh, two days ago there was this launcher called TSF Shell Pro. Uh, launched by this Asian developers. I actually bought this launcher because I thought it would look pretty nice on my Galaxy Note. And of course it does, uh, but it's pretty expensive. I don't know if this launcher is worth um, like 17 bucks. 
it's pretty much I know I just spent 17 bucks on a launcher that ain't you know it's not like super mega good it is good but there are some functions that ain't working too good and they're well it it just feels like they have forgotten some stuff and that is not nice in my opinion but otherwise this uh, launcher is pretty nice you should check it up uh, at least watch my review on the this launcher and yeah today is Saturday and guess what yes of course we gotta enjoy the weekend and today I have this like passion fruit soda uh, this is something I don't really drink uh, very often um, probably at least one or two years ago since I tasted this kind of soda last time tastes really really good tastes a lot better than it looks yeah I know it doesn't look that good but uh, it tastes really good and I guess it's just fake fake tasted and uh, yeah I hope you guys liked this video the uh, part 2 tech news week 9 and I am looking forward to meeting you next week or today or tomorrow or in two days <laughs> anyway that depends a little bit on how many videos you watch from me anyway so enjoy the weekend see ya